Christmas. <laughs> it's definitely winter now. Wow. <laughs> it's beginning to look a lot like vlogmas. Everywhere you go. <sighs> you see my breath in the car? Oh dear. It says it's minus 1.5 on the dashboard. Yeah, I didn't explain it properly because I didn't film yesterday. I started taking a day off to catch up and get ready for Vlogmas, which is today. And yeah, I just came home to my parents. My brother came home from uni for a few days, so I came up to say hey. And we went out for dinner and stuff, and that was fun. Now I'm going back down, and I think we're getting a tree today. Hi. <laughs> Good to see you again. Good to see you. Alex has saved that. Yeah, as you can see, everything. Uh, Do you ever think that when you watch vlogs, um, when people, I always think that when I'm watching like Casey Neistat or whatever, and they put the camera down and like film themselves walking, and I do that sometimes, and I just feel cringe because it's like staged, yeah, I know but also you, you have to do it for the video because it makes it like. It feels really cringe, but it looks normal. It works so well for yeah. the story. Story. I've never actually done that. Huh? I've never I think I've done it a few times. I've or I've got you... you to film me or I've yeah. put things down to film, yeah. I've always wanted to do it, but then I thought, what if someone nicks my camera? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Look what Alex got. Twiglets! Christmas Twiglets! It's officially Christmas. Oh my <laughs> my baby. I love these things so much. My mite. Oh. So, Alex is fully decked out for Christmas, his Pikachu Christmas jumper and his Christmas pudding hat. Am I Christmassy yet? Yes. Spin. Do a spin. Christmas spin. <laughs> This was a mistake bringing, bringing you here. This is the type we got last year, like the spruce. Nice and cheap, but not so good for decorations. And it's kind of pointier. And these are the ones. There she goes. And these are the proper fir trees but they're almost well they're a bit bigger but they're a lot more expensive so we need to find a compromise so this one i quite like the look of what do you think it gets a bit higher with the stand as well doesn't it yeah i don't care about the height of it i care about the way it looks oh gosh it's so cold it's a bit weird that that's yeah it looks really nice yeah i think that's a good size yeah 35 pounds fine i think that's fine I wouldn't want to go any more than that. So maybe just go pick the best one out of this bunch then, because they're all 35 pounds. Let's have a look at this one. This one look as good or not as good? Not as good. Really? No. This one? Oh, there's a bit hanging out off. No, I don't like it, it's too fat. This one, get that one out. Oh, oh gosh, this is she, oh! Okay, you take this one out. I'll go fix that other one. Pop you little one up. There you go. It's far too big. Yeah, far too big. So I think this is the one. Alex does not, isn't sure, doesn't seem to be sure about that. Although it is a bit uneven, but that doesn't matter because you just put it in a position and then they're you... all uneven because they've been lying up against Yeah. They were like this side, the... Oh, yeah. But I just... A lot of them are very big on the bottom. Okay, put this one here, because it's a, you know, a, in the finals. So put that one there. We're going for this one. Are you pleased? 
I'm very pleased. Oh, I'm scared. You're gonna go give it to him then and then get him to get him to roll it up. Which movie is this in? Is it Holiday Inn? White Christmas. I think it's Holiday Inn. The song okay. is the song is called White Christmas. It's in Bloody White Christmas. What? Yeah. Is that a movie? Yes. What do you mean? White Christmas. I've yeah. never heard of it. What? It's with Frank Sinatra, no? No, that's Bing Crosby, isn't it? It's. I meant that version. Irving. Yeah, it's Bing Crosby. Okay, not Frank. Sinatra. Ha. Yeah, but there is a movie called White Christmas. It's great, and that is the yeah. song in it. And there is a movie called. I didn't Holiday actually Inn. mean Frank Sinatra. I don't know what I was thinking. They're all kind of the same, aren't they? No, but I wasn't, I wasn't, you know, you're just my brain, I'm trying to concentrate. This is really great lighting. Anyway, we got the tree. A few moments later. So we forgot a stand. We don't have a Christmas tree stand, so we're gonna have to go back. <gasps> Maddie's discovered the flowering cactus. Oh my God, that's so beautiful. True, they are very pretty. I'll give you that. Wow. I like these ones. Came back to the garden center and no stands we liked. Well, they only had two and they were 25 pounds yeah. for like this grubby, they were all like dusty and grubby and like had chips all over they them. Look, so if we're going to spend a bit of money on a stand, I want a nice one mm. to last the years. Yeah, to last a really long time. Yeah. That we like. I want to get a basket really to go around the well, tree. Well you wanted like a small, small one. Small stand. To support the tree that can go in a basket and looks pretty. Yeah. I'm sure we could figure something out. Yeah. And a basket is like, it's not like I'm just buying a basket for the sake of it. Once the Christmas tree is gone, I'd reuse the basket for a plant. So. I don't care about the presents. I don't need the Christmas tree. Oh, this is my second favorite Christmas song of all time. More than you could ever know. I can sing just as good as Mariah can. It's enough of that. <laughs> Love these. They're so nice, don't think for like underwear and stuff. Oh, we had, we got them already. Yeah, they're so pretty. We got this guy. He means business. Wow. Quick, 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 it's cold, open the door. <laughs> oh, it smells so good in here. Does it? Oh, the house is going to smell like this. <sighs> oh, it's so good. You smell that? <laughs> You're coming with me. You take this end. Okay, I'll take it. Here it is. Where's it gonna go? I vote. Hmm. Maybe I'll put a vote up on the screen. Here. Or there. Or maybe move some of this around. Cast your votes now. Or what we could do is we could even have it in the bedroom. And that we could read by the light of the Christmas tree lights. <laughs> well, when you, when you go away at the weekend, I'm putting it in the bedroom. I just, I thought I'd let you know. My mouth is watering. Oh. The best part about the Christmas twiglets is they're chopped in half, so you can just do this. Oh, it tastes like Christmas. So what do you want? Hold on the barrett hole the other day. Because it's buy one, get one half price. So what would you like? So now these are a good price when you do that. And Beef! 19, 19p, I wanted to try them. Right, let's try these. And this. I hope they just taste like generic fake meat rather than actual beef. I hope so. I'm sure they'll be fine. The cheating stuff's usually pretty good. It's like the stuff that was on the pizza. Taste it. Generic baked meat. Yeah. That'll do me. That's so horrible. <laughs> Cheese and beef. This is the, uh, the fabled Tesco goat's cheese. Fabled? I was yapping about in the other video. Oh, bacon and goat's cheese. Is that goat? Oh, it definitely goes. Yeah. Although it's usually more bacon and brie, but I'm pretty sure they go. Bacon and cheese. I'm excited to see if it tastes good or terrible because I used to love goat's cheese. Taste it. Doesn't it taste like goat's cheese? Oh, it really does. Mm -hmm. Oh, they've done it. They've yeah, cracked it. They have. 
Oh, how do they do that? Mm. Wow. Right, I've got to go move the car. Three, two, one. I'm not back, I'm joking. I haven't been yet. Aren't I funny? I'm back! For real this time. Maddie's just finishing her porridge. That's my breakfast. <laughs> I'm so f***ed off, I, I haven't told them about the Quaker. Quaker gate. So I bought some porridge, porridge the other day, or I bought oats. And when you buy oats, you can get either porridge oats or instant oats as they're often referred to, or you can get actual whole rolled oats. So, look at this package. What does it say on there? Rolled oats, whole grain rolled oats. And if you look carefully, look at those. That is what I wanted. Porridge oats are delicious and they make porridge cook really fast, but they are more processed. So I was like, right, I'm gonna spend a little bit more money. And what did I find inside? Let me just show you this. That is what I find inside. Straight up instant porridge oats. They are more milled than even the porridge oats that you can buy in most supermarkets for like 50p. They're literally more ground down than that. So I thought, oh, maybe I'll give um, Quaker Oats the benefit of the doubt and message them and just find out if it's a mistake. Maybe they packaged instant oats into their rolled oats and it, it was a mistake and they didn't mean to and they can just give me a refund or give me something back. But no, they replied saying, no, nope, those are our oats. They are a little bit more milled than usual rolled oats, but they are rolled oats. And I sent them a picture, I said, these are not rolled oats, these are instant oats. I know this is such a small deal, it's not that big of a deal, but I just like to vent about these things because I just think it's, Woo! What happened? Uh, I thought that the hole was on the other side, like what I just did. Uh, Could you get the dust down and brush? I thought the hole was on the other side and I, Oh, great. But yeah, <clears throat> I understand that this is not a big deal and I'm gonna eat it anyway because I knew that if I returned it to Tesco, they just throw it in the bin. So we're gonna eat them anyway, but I just think it's unacceptable for brands to falsely advertise and I hate it. It is such a pet hate of mine that brands can get away with false advertising like that. I think we get it. Anyway, Unless don't buy Quaker Oats because they're uh, oh. So feel free to share this on Twitter with hashtag Quakergate. Quakergate. And demand better porridge. Yeah, like I can't, I can't believe it. So I've been recommended by my friend to buy Jordan's organic oats. So I'm going to get those oh, next. And also the Sainsbury's own brand organic oats are good too. Did it say to me? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's a letter. To me, to you. Oh my gosh, there's a letter. Have you seen what they wrote on the front? No. It looks exactly like your writing. No, it doesn't. I thought it was your writing Don't, first. Please excuse my appearance. I'm recycled cardboard. That's amazing. Yeah. We handmade them for you with reclaimed wood. The wooden cubes used to be old scaffold boards designed for that landfill or the fire pile. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Is this like a behind the scenes that you're doing right now? Oh yeah. Um, Alex is filming me. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh, they're so, <gasps> oh my gosh, they are so beautiful. Hmm, oh, that's nice. I didn't think they would come already built up. I thought we would have to yeah, put that's them together. Really, that's really handy. So let me give you a better look at these. Like those legs so, there. Wow, we. I feel like, I ignore the stuff on the bed, Alex has just come home, so he's um, brought some bits back. And that was where the salt lamp was sitting to protect the floor. But I feel like it's a proper bedroom now. And um, obviously it doesn't look great because there's, there's stuff everywhere. There's I'm excited so to not have to keep my electronics on the floor. Yeah, it's so <sighs> nice. Delightful. Kind of fell apart in the uh, toasty maker. But we got the vegan bacon. Well, we've got the goat's cheese, tomato, some salad. And then it's cheese and beef. <laughs> and some crisps. Yum yum. We're just gonna put the tree up. Well, Maddie's already doing it. She's stolen the tripod. I can get a time lapse. It's my tripod! She's stolen it. I can get a time lapse. I can get it from over here. It's okay. Tannenbaum, oh Tannenbaum, wie treu sind deine Blätter. That was more of a faff. 
than I expected it to be. <laughs> In the process of that, I broke the scissors and I cut my thumb. <laughs> Happy Christmas! Du grunst nicht nur zur Sommerzeit, nein auch im Winter, wenn es neigt. Here's the scissors. It's for anyone who's ever wanted to know what a pair of broken scissors looks like. There you are. We're finally reunited so we can watch Mad Men. Yeah, we thought we'd try something different tonight. The tree is up in the corner. Don't know if Alex showed you because he's really <laughs> at vlogging. So the tree's there. I'm gonna tr trim this bit off when we get some new scissors. A bit and awesome. yeah, because it's uneven. Yeah, yeah. And it will drop. I've, it has already dropped quite a bit on this side because it was really far up because that's why it was leaning against the, the fence. So um, that should drop by tomorrow, but I really like it. I think it's so even. And yeah. then we have the Christmas decorations there. How are you guys liking the first day of Vlogmas? Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for the rest of Vlogmas. We haven't really made much of a deal of it today, the fact it's the first day of Vlogmas, but you're gonna uh, have 24, is it 24 or 25 days? 24 days of us, 24 full days right. of us. We're probably more excited tomorrow because it will be technically December. Yeah. I've done it a different way. Loads of people do it this way. They do? Okay. Yeah. Because it feels weird to be like, yay, it's Vlogmas, it's Christmas when it's still It's November. Christmas! It is, yeah, it's the 30th it's, of November. We've still got four and a half hours until oh, December. I think that's just absolute nonsense. If you want to celebrate Christmas, I like to feel Christmassy as soon as Halloween's over. Mm. That's how I start to feel Christmassy. I do, in November. Um, and then it slowly creeps in in December and then I'm like, boom! Give this video a thumbs up if you're excited for Vlogmas and leave us requests in the uh, comments down below, Alex, <laughs> for types of videos, because we might not do a vlog, we probably will do vlogs most days, but we might like, I don't know, do some challenges um, or some themed videos. I'd like to mix it up, especially because 24 vlogs in a row could get a bit tiring. Somebody on Instagram suggest, no, Snapchat, she suggested to do a, I think it was she called it a Mr. and Mrs. challenge, and I have seen people do this, but I think it's just the boyfriend right, the challenge. Show. Yeah. Oh, right. But I think it's, uh, we did it on my channel, didn't we? The boyfriend challenge. Did we? I don't know, maybe we I didn't. Don't, I don't remember doing that. There is a boyfriend challenge. Maybe we can do challenges like that. Or if there are any specific things you want to see in Vlogmas or whatever, we can have themed videos. So yeah. tomorrow's video will be a Christmas decorating video, which I'm really oh, excited yes, about. Please. Bye bye. Happy Christmas. Happy December. Uh, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere.